A chicken breeding plant that has been up and running from its owner's home for about 10 years. As power supply has become inconsistent in recent months, a generator was acquired as backup for the egg incubator. Customized coal and firewood powered heaters were also built in the chicken coop's walls. There are also solar powered lights throughout the coops. The owner says the business would have collapsed had they not found an alternative source of heating and lighting. We got a local welder to make us a makeshift stove where we put in wood and also coal to warm up the place, whether there's uh, load shedding or not. So we make sure that the chicks are always warm and we also have solar lights because the chicks they need to be warm they need lights as well though the alternative power source comes at a hefty price the plant's chicken fatality rate has gone down this winter period the coal and the wood that we buy like your full buggy long base buggy will last you two two weeks so you have to buy again this is also just too costly for us but you know we, the business needs to keep running whether there's electricity or not and a word of advice to other entrepreneurs to find ways to ensure that load shedding does not lead to the demise of their businesses. Do research, talk to people who are in the same business as you are because obviously there are people who will know what to do and uh, you know always have a plan B. If there's no electricity what happens? Do, do you close down your business? No. So you come up with plan B. That's this is what we did here you know so that the business can keep running. The plant has five employees. Piman Baloi, SABC News, Hasiminya in Limpopo.